Hey, how's it going guys? Jaime Rodriguez here with PureImageDesign.com Bringing you another great video, taking your airbrush instruction to a whole new level. This time today we're going to talk some more about airbrush lettering. And I'm going to take you through a couple different ideas and, and uh, styles on airbrush script and a couple other styles of lettering I'm going to bring to you today. But we're going to talk about I draw the line, I draw the line. Can't remember who's quote that was, I almost think it was Tom Nugent, comic artist or some other comic artist, but let's talk about what I draw the line means when it comes to script. Well, we got a bunch of lines here guys, and they are all over the place, okay? Now I draw the line, what does that mean to me? I'll tell you what that means to me guys. This script here curves, turns, goes here, goes there, goes everywhere, and it's all about how you draw that line, how you curve it, how it hits the corner, how it banks left, how it banks right, how it flicks here, how it flicks there. This is what I draw the line means. Now all it takes is just subtle little nuances of a twist and turn and you got a whole new style lettering. Now of course we want these twists and turns to be controlled. You know a lot of times we try to let speed dictate what our lettering is going to look like. I want you guys to dictate what your lettering is going to look like. You be in total control. You let every turn be calculated and measured by the accuracy of your finger and brain control movement. Now what I mean by that, I mean exactly what I just said. You be in control of the airbrush. A lot of times airbrush artists think they're Speedy Gonzales. They think it's a marathon. Every time they got to airbrush a t-shirt or airbrush a name design, they rush right through it. And it looks like they rushed right through it. Now, what I want you guys to do, if you're uh, in the process of learning and taking your airbrush uh, skills to a new level, I want you to start taking your time. I want you guys to start being in total control of every movement that your finger, hands, and torso makes as it moves across the surface you're painting on. Nice and smooth, controlled movements, that way you dictate what your lettering is going to look like. A couple videos ago I talked about this one guy Rubens uh, lettering as he's practicing and the genesis of his um, you know taking it to a new level is when he just started to slow down and you can see in the video right when he slowed down in his practice session that's when his lettering started to tighten up so you know instead of rushing through it guys I want you guys to try to slow down try to take it easy relax start practicing your lettering you know on paper not just on the airbrush uh, not just with the airbrush you can practice on paper that's where it starts and uh, you be in control of every single movement you got that, some script lettering here and they're all just tiny variations of this and that but it's script lettering different styles and just different ways of turning twisting this is uh, some print and bold and you can tell by the size see this is the airbrush here you can see the size of the lettering but just different styles lettering here Okay, so what do we learn here, guys? We learn that subtle movements here and there and everywhere can make a lettering style that much different. And control movements, precision, and calculating every move you make really makes a difference, not just rushing through it. And uh, I tell you, the genesis of me taking it to a whole new level is when I really start to slow down, take my time, and really, really calculate things. And that's when I really started to learn more. And, uh, you know, it's common sense stuff. We take it to a new level, we, we, we go to a new level. And that's what it's all about, trying something new, slowing down, relaxing. Sometimes we're rushed throughout our day, and we don't take the time to relax and take it easy. Well, when we do that, that's when things really start to happen. And that's what it's all about. Um, let me try to airbrush and hold the camera here. But, you know, instead of just, you know, rushing through it, you know, as fast as you can, you know, just take your time, relax, and 
you be in control of your lettering. Excuse the lettering, I am holding the iPhone and trying to paint at the same time. But, you know, instead of a marathon, you know, or, uh, you know, going as fast, relax, take it easy. You know, have fun with it. Every time you hit that little curve, right, where it's going to break, you be in control of that little break right there. Where it goes left or right or this way or that way, you be in control. Because at the point where that curve starts to happen, that's when that style start, starts to happen. That's when the birth starts to take place, right when you start to control the line here or there. Well, I hope that at least enlightened you and inspired you to get that airbrush out and make it happen. Uh, I'm using Spectratex Paint by Badger, guys. Same paint here, great stuff. Using the Vega 2000 airbrush, I got a cool blue handle on it. I'm using about, right now, I'm about 40 PSI. I normally run about 50. Um, just depends on what I'm doing, where I'm at. Um, but that's it, guys. Here's a close-up of my airbrushes here. All right. The Vegas. All the way through the whole collection here. This is my cool airbrush holder. Custom made by a good friend of mine. And there you go, guys. It's been a while. I hope this helped out. Again, Vega 2000 Spectratex by Badger. Using about 40 to 50 PSI. Medium needle. Um, let's see what else. What are the emails I might be getting? Um, hmm. Nah, that's about it. If, uh, if you guys have any other questions. Man, I got like 60 videos here now. They are starting to get up there. And... Um, you guys, I'm Rodriguez, PureImageDesign.com. If you have any questions, send me an email. I got more videos coming. And stay tuned, I got some great video of my new airbrush location here at Arizona Mills Mall. We now moved up from, an in, from a kiosk to an inline location, which is doing fantastic. So uh, stay tuned, guys. We got more coming.